beautiful, beautiful people. Listen, it's another day and I am here again being appreciative of it all. Whether it's the day, whether it's the minute, whether it's the hour, right? It's Trish Divine back with another Verbal Connection, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by again, all right? So, as you know, what I go into first is the riddle of the day. So, on your brain, like a fiddle, this riddle, this riddle. Why can't you play basketball with pigs? <laughs> Forgive me for laughing. But why can't you play basketball with pigs? Comment below and tell me why you think you can't play basketball with pigs. Yeah. All right, guys. So the poem I wrote for you today, I want you to listen up. All right. Listen. I often reflect on the sea, sand, and its beautiful shore. And can't help but think we have a lot and is being given so much more. What a blessing. Blessings we should always adore. For despite what we think, we are rich and have an abundance of wealth, we aren't poor. One more time, guys. I often reflect on the sea, its sand, and the beautiful shore. And can't help but think, we have a lot and is given so much more. What a blessing, guys. Blessings we should always adore. For despite what we think, we are rich. And have an abundance of wealth. We aren't poor. What am I saying with this one, guys? We aren't poor. We aren't poor. We have an abundance of blessings. All right, here's a story for you. There once was this 24-year-old guy traveling on a train with his father. As the train passed by the trees, the 24-year-old looked eagerly through the window and he shouted out, Dad, Dad, look, the trees are passing us by. So the dad said, yes, son, yes, the trees are passing us by. Now, there was a younger couple sitting next to them and they were looking at each other like, what? What is really going on here? Anyways, going on, going on, the son turned to the father again and said, Dad, look, now the clouds are, are passing above us. And the, the father turned to the son and said, yes, son, the clouds are passing, feeling so happy. So the, the young couple now said to themselves, no, man, something is wrong. So they ended up turning to the father and said, why don't you take your son to a doctor? Assuming that the boy was mental. You know what the father said? Yes, I did. I took him to a great hospital. As a matter of fact, we were just coming back from the hospital. He is 24 years old. He has never seen a day in his life. He has been blind since the day he was born. And he just got sight today. Don't ask if the couple don't feel stupid. Right away, you judge. Because you see the guy, big old 24-year-old guy, seeing the clouds and the trees. And you think to yourself, him sick, him mental. Yeah. That's, that's us. That's human being. We automatically think something is wrong because the person not acting as we would normally act but that don't mean he's crazy it just means that the poor guy had just been given sight so you know what that means guys as the poem said you have to give thanks and be grateful for your blessings in abundance because when you look into it we have been given so much more you have sight you can walk there are people out there that can't even see guys we have to be grateful for small mercies. Small mercies mean you can't hear. You get up today, you have health, you have the strength, can walk. Some people don't have any hands. They have to be using their foot to cook, to do all of the stuff. They learn how to do it because when you lose one, you have to gain on the other. So that's my message, guys. Appreciate, appreciate what you have because what we consider small is a mountain to people that don't have it. That's what I'm trying to say. What we consider nothing or too small is a huge mountain for others who do not have it. Whether it's a skill, whether it's whatever it is, guys, be grateful. All right? That's what Trish Devine is telling you for today. All right, guys. So the herb I have for you today, it's called Echinacea. It's spelled E-C-H-I-N-A-C-E-A. -E -E Again, E-C-H-I-N-A-C-E-A. -E -E it's a fantastic herb. For the flu season, a lot of people use it because it's good for your immune system. It's actually considered, if it's used properly, it's considered a cure for the common cold, for flu, and all that stuff. It's a very good herb, guys. Google it. Kudos to Google, and you'll see what echinacea can do. E-C-H-I-N-A-C-E-A. 
CEA. Very good herb. All right? So listen, I am going to tell you one more time to walk good, live good, be grateful for small mercies, stay safe, and be blessed. Trish Divine will see you again for another verbal connection. Of course, another beautiful day that the good Lord above is going to grant to us. All right? I love you guys. Walk good. All right?